Yo, 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 what is up, JCHS? I'm Jake Van Ross. This is John Prescott, and here are the lunches for the week. Today is Sloopy Joe's. Tuesday is chicken noodles. Wednesday is teriyaki chicken, followed by an early release. Woo! Thursday is taco chili. Friday is breakfast for lunch. And now to cut with the weather for this week. Hey guys, weatherman Kevin here, come back at you for the weather for the week. So this week, we'll be starting temperatures in the high 50s, and lows will be in the 40s. We're going to be expecting rain throughout the whole week, except on Thursday, where you should be seeing some sunshine. Now for the interesting weather fact, uh, did you know tornadoes can also form on the surface of the sun? And no, wind is not involved, but the magnetic field of the sun moves plasma in any tornado-like fashion. That's all I have for you guys this week. Now back to you, Jake and JP. Thank you, Kevin, for the weather. Very informational. Today, girls golf tees off at Rogue Valley Golf Course at noon and tennis host Springfield starting at 4. Tomorrow, JV has a league meet at Saisla starting at 3.30. Tennis plays Presswell at home starting at 4.30. Varsity softball and baseball play at Elmira starting at 5, while JV baseball and softball host Elmira starting at the same time. Wednesday, tennis plays Churchill at home starting at 4. Thursday, boys golf plays at 10.30 at Diamond Woods. Friday, varsity and JV baseball and softball all travel to Saisla to play in double headers with everyone's first game starting at 3 and the second one starting at 5. Saturday, varsity track goes to Elmira to compete in the Elmira Relays, which starts at 11 a.m. Now here is S with the Athlete of the Week. Thanks, Jake and JP. S volunteer back here with another Athlete of the Week, Abby Bonkrat, who's a catcher for the Junction City softball team. Um, what are your season goals? To win state and win league and grow as a team. Uh, what is, um, what's your favorite part about softball? The competition and competing. Do you plan on playing after high school? That's one of my goals, I guess. Nice. Well, thanks for joining us. Back to you, Jake and JP. And thank you, S. <clears throat> Seniors, there are new scholarships available to apply for. Many do next Monday, so check in with Ms. Bolton to get those applications. If you are interested in spring, and if you are interested in music, and if you are interested in concerts, tomorrow there is the Spring Music Concert. It will start at 7 p.m. in the West Wing Gym. Uh, this week is National Volunteer Appreciation Week. Make sure to thank those in our school and community that don't think twice about donating their time. On Saturday, we have the 26th Annual Top Tiger Pageant. The show begins at 6 p.m. in the West Wing Gym. Buy a ticket from any coordinator or contestant for only $10 to see who wins the title of Top Tiger 2019. Prom is just under three weeks away, wow. so make sure that if you are a junior or senior who plans to bring an underclassman to prom or someone from another school that you will fill out a guest pass that can be found in the front office. Tickets will go on sale soon, nearest to you. This Thursday is the job fair. If you would like to attend, check in with Liz. You will need to have a resume in hand and be dressed professionally to be able to attend. Your permission slip is due by next Tuesday, mm -hmm. April 10th. And here's your fact of the week. The state fair in Texas sells the most corn dogs at an average of 630,000 dogs per season. That's a lot of dogs. A lot of dogs. That's all we have for this week. Let us make it a good one. <laughs> and go Tigers!